Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. I'm Taquin, and uh, holy crap, I just got back from the Destiny 2 event. Uh, I got the chance to play the game, see the reveal, uh, and test some things out. So in this video, I wanted to basically show you guys a PvP match on the map Midtown playing the game mode Countdown. So basically, uh, it's a four versus four round-based game mode where if you're on the attacking team, you have to go and plant the charges and try to detonate them. And if you're on the defending team, you have to defend those people from uh, planning those charges. So anyway, there is a lot to cover regarding Destiny 2 news and all this stuff. So I'm gonna be covering, uh, you know, PVP stuff, uh, some of the new weapons, and basically just my thoughts on the game and some future videos. So if you're new to the channel and not subscribed, Definitely subscribe uh, because I'm going to be covering all this stuff very soon. But I'm currently working out of a hotel room in Los Angeles, so I'm not in my normal setup. So uh, I'm just basically giving you this gameplay video for the time being. So there are some really, really sweet new abilities that were added uh, to the Striker subclass for the Titan. Uh, the first one being a barricade ability. Now there's two options for this. You can use the Towering Barricade, which is basically just a large piece of cover you can deploy and then the Rally Barricade, which is one that's about waist height, I'd say, and you can crouch behind it, uh, and when you aim your gun, you'll peek over the cover, and you can pick at people and also go back behind cover. And another perk of this is when you go back behind cover, it automatically reloads the weapon that you're using, which is pretty cool. Another change to the subclass is that the actual Fist of Havoc super is now Fist of Havoc's plural. Basically, once you activate your super, you'll do a regular Fist of Havoc, and then it'll turn into a roaming super. So basically, you can run around, do electrically uh, charged shoulder charges that one-hit players, and you can also do a bunch of mini Fist of Havocs as well. So Fist of Havoc is now a roaming super, which is pretty wild. I think it's honestly an awesome change. It seems to be fairly well balanced. The, the, you know, the ground pounds that you do aren't as insanely powerful as they were in Destiny 1. At least it didn't feel like it. Um, so that's pretty much the big change uh, for that subclass, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So you'll see some of that towards the end of the video, so make sure to stick around for that. I also tried to use a variety of weapons in this gameplay, so you see me pull out a lot of different ones. I honestly did pretty bad this game, so I apologize, but there were some good moments here and there. Um, but uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Remember to subscribe if you're new, because I'm going to be covering all this stuff in the days to come. Thank you everybody so much for watching, as always, and I will see you next time. Your team is solid. Charges are everything. Set them and protect them. Hold the line. You hammered them. Do it again. If those charges explode, all is lost. Defend them. Enemy has set a charge. Make them regret that. Starting down. Down, but the charge is still active. Defuse it. Enemy detonated the charge. Set the charges and protect them with your life. Go! 
Guardian down. One minute left. Guardian down. Charge set. Now hold the line. Yes! Enemy team neutralized. Defend the charges and defeat your opponents. Only one minute left. Got thirty seconds. Enemy charge is set. Defuse it before it blows. The enemy team is gone, but the charge remains. Defuse it. You. The team has your back. The charges are everything. Set them and protect them. Now, to battle. Guardian down. All enemies down. Good. Match point. Hold them off, and victory is yours. <laughs> Enemy charge has been set. You know what. Down. The team defused the charge. Close call. No advice, Guardian. Do it again. <laughs>